you wanted more air fryer recipes. So let's go. Today we're making this amazing soft crust air fryer pizza. If you love a soft and fluffy crust, this one's for you. Forget Papa John's, forget Domino's. This pizza is easy, delicious, and absolutely amazing and kindly sponsored by Skillshare. This dough comes together very easily. To the warm water, you're gonna add the yeast and to the flour, you're gonna add the salt. Give the flour and salt a good mix to evenly disperse the salt. You never want the yeast to come in direct contact with the salt. Mix the yeast with the water until combined. You don't need any special tools for this recipe. It's such an easy dough to work with because it's such a small amount of dough. It's always easier to need small amounts of dough than it is to need large quantities of dough. So if you're a beginner bread maker, consider yourself lucky. Today's the day you're gonna learn how to make air fryer pizza. The full written recipe will be on my website, emmafontanella.com. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hello there, consider subscribing. You want to knead this dough for about five minutes on a lightly oiled work surface. Form the dough into a ball, drop it in a greased bowl, gently oil the top as well, cover the bowl with a damp kitchen towel or plastic wrap, and this dough does need to double in size. This should take about an hour to an hour and a half. You'll need some mozzarella, dry mozzarella, so it doesn't release any water. For this recipe, I like to shred it. You can also just tear it up with your hands, whatever you prefer. I wanted pepperoni today. In Italy, we do not have pepperoni. There's no such thing. So thinly sliced salami it is. This actually worked really well. However, if you are gonna use this hack, you do wanna cook out the fats. This only takes about a minute in a dry pan. It's an extra step. I like to do it. I do not like a greasy pizza. An hour and a half later, my dough has doubled beautifully. We're gonna assemble this pizza directly on some parchment paper. That way it's just easier to maneuver the pizza into the air fryer baskets. You want to cut out a piece that's big enough to accommodate a seven inch pizza. Yes, this will be a small pizza, but she's thick and she's fluffy. Do not use the rolling pin, just spread it out using your hands. Take your time with this. Again, you want to aim for a seven, eight inch pizza. One, because most probably if you do it bigger than that, it will not fit in your air fryer. And two, most importantly, if it's too thin, it will not turn out soft. And we're going for a soft and fluffy crisp today. Add the tomato sauce. The recipe for this will be in the description box below. It's a no cook sauce. It's easy and delicious. Add the cheese. By the way, this is the perfect time to start preheating that air fryer. The majority of air fryers take only three minutes to preheat. Set the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna do the whole works today. Peppers and olives and mushrooms. I didn't have mushrooms. <laughs> do not go overboard with the toppings though. Less is always more when it comes to pizza. You're going to carefully drop the pizza in the basket and this needs to cook for about five minutes. The top will be golden, the cheese will melt and caramelize. Now how good? does this look? Come on people, just look at this. Keep in mind the bottom of the crust will not be golden. Okay, I wish I would have showed the bottom of the crust. I didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> this will really depend on the air fryer you use. The only reason I'm saying this to you is because I don't want you to be tempted to overcook this. Five, six minute tops is the sweet spot. This will be one of the softest yeast raised pizza you will ever have. This method has become one of my favorite go-to methods when making pizza. It's foolproof, you don't have to turn on your oven, and trust me when I say this is amazing. So put to work your air fryer, make this, you'll love it. Shout out to Skillshare for supporting the channel. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, it's an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who wants to learn and explore new skills or just build on existing habits. Skillshare has so many classes and workshops to choose from. They have lifestyle classes, photography, food and cooking, interior design. They have tons of classes that will match your hobbies and interests. And they have new premium classes each week, so there's always something new to learn and discover. Right now, I'm taking Turn Exercise into a Habit by Catronel Gerbova. If you watched last week's video, you would know that I'm really trying to prioritize my health and exercise is something I I've always struggled with. Catronel talks about habit formation, defining a strong why. Her advice has been so useful. So definitely check out Skillshare. I'll leave a link in the description box below. It's affordable. And the first 1,000 people to sign up using my link in the description box below will get one month free trial of Skillshare.